Hi, Stan Bourbon here. You're watching Mariners TV here in, uh, where are we? South Shields. South Shields. I knew that. I was only joking. So, Gav, how satisfying was that today? Um, really satisfying again, exactly the same as Wednesday. Two big games, six points. Um, can't ask for any more. A lot of people might have thought it was a daunting couple of games, but do you see it as an opportunity? I think so, because of how well we've been playing. Um, and the challenge was can you do a back the back? Because that's what we've struggled with. We've done one performance really well and then struggled after that. So, to get two back the back there um, after the shield, and that's now three, do you know what I mean? So, like, it's, it's perfect for us. Since we've been a great reaction from the Ashton game, we didn't quite hit the stats very long in the game. Yeah. Um, and that's a, the key is just winning games and I think if we're obviously we we'll keep doing that we're going to be in and around it um, but to come here and go to Shildon obviously in one week and get them the maximum points that we can get um, and I think obviously a few people said it could have even been more because they went out to 10 men on Wednesday and then obviously hit these for four um, really really satisfying Everything seems to be growing at the minute doesn't it the confidence and the, the spirit in the camp as well I think so um, things is always going to take time and that's what obviously we said um, and we've just got to keep going though so the mentality for Tuesday doesn't change from the day um, and I thought the challenge again can we just keep going um, win the game Tuesday put in a good performance that's a challenge No two goals for yourself as well you yeah. should have great yeah I should have had three um, but it was just the way to be fair the lads I've literally had to do nothing mm. um, David Foley and Briggs has put us in so I've been able to get two so again the, the run keeps going Because it must be great to play with players like that like Briggs and Foley and pick you out just like that Yeah um, and that's one of the reasons I came because I knew what was here already um, I mean obviously them two lads were here last year and then we've added a bit more so to play in a good side and to be able to pass the ball like we did today and win and put four past them like say it's really really satisfying I speak to Lee Paul before as well about the, the sort of competition in the squad as well you must all feel on your toes as well Yeah you've got to keep going but the management to be fair with being honest with us um, and you've got to be prepared there, like you say, if you're out one game, mm. you shouldn't be taking it obviously from a disappointing view because of the quality that's in there. Mm. Um, so we're just going to keep going as a squad, um, and by the end of the, of the season, see where we're at, and everyone's going to put a shift in, and that's what we need. This week is that the benchmark now? It is, um, maximum points, and we've got to keep going, so there's going to be some more big games to come. Um, but for us, if we want to win the league and have any aspirations of doing anything, we've got to make sure every game is like that. I was going to say, Dunstan Tuesday, they haven't had the best start of them, but you have to sort of attack them with the same intensity. Yeah, they haven't, and that's they, they can spoil the party as such because obviously we're doing so well. Go up there with the wrong mentality, and we'll come out with, with nothing. Um, so we're going to keep going and, and try and get them three points on Tuesday.